close your eyes and put aside all your other concerns. Just be here in the present moment, be here with the breath. When the breath comes in, know it's coming in. When it goes out, know it's going out. There's nothing else you have to be responsible for right now. Just this awareness of the breath right here. And of course you'll see other things coming into the mind, but you can let them go. You have to have a sense of priorities of what comes first. Okay, right now concentration comes first. Other interests, other responsibilities, they can wait. You need this space where you can rest, where the mind can settle down and be with itself and just be quiet without any other responsibilities. It needs its rest. Just like the body, if it's working all the time, it wears down. It needs food, it needs a time to rest. So meditation is food and rest for the mind. The food is a sense of well-being that comes when you can stay with one object and don't have to be jumping around all the time. If you're jumping around all the time, you're, even when you land on something, you're already tensed up because you know you're going to have to jump to something else. It's like a cat jumping from spot to spot to spot. It's pretty tense all the way through. Even when it's landed on a new spot, it's still very tense. It's only when you can settle in in one spot that you can really relax. Again, it's like a cat finally finding a spot in the sun on a carpet. It just kind of melts into the carpet. It gets very amorphous. Your mind can melt into the breath right now. And that way when the time comes when you really do have other work to do, the mind has been rested, it's clear, it's well fed with that sense of well-being. And you look at the choices that you face in life and you face them with a much greater equanimity, much greater patience. Because if we're really hungry for pleasure, we're going to jump at whatever opportunity comes up, whether it's skillful or not. But if we're not hungry, we can be a little bit more picky. We want only the skillful ways of finding happiness. We want a happiness that lasts, we want a happiness that doesn't harm anybody. So we can be a little bit more picky about what we feed on as we go through the day, because we're already well fed. It's like a person who's had a good meal. Someone offers a snack, we look at it, is there something that's really good for you, something that would be nourishing, or is it something that's going to be harmful? And you're not so hungry, so you're less likely to give in to the harmful things. So feed the mind well right here. It's going to be feeding at any rate, at any rate in the course of the day, so make it sure that it feeds skillfully when you have the chance. When it's really full right here, okay, then nothing outside is going to tempt it, nothing that's going to harm anybody. And that's a good position to be in.